What's your victory dance? You really want to know? Yes. Oh. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Stadium Eats, a series where I'm going to be taking you guys to the best stadiums in the States to show you the atmosphere, the fans, and most importantly, the food. Stadium Eats! So we're starting things off at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium because they're known to have the best tailgate in the NFL. So we're going to be tailgating with fans, we're going to be trying concession food, and we're also getting a behind the scenes look at some of their sweet food as well. I can't wait, but I'm not ready just yet. I got to change my gear to get Chiefs ready. So let's go! Our very first stop of the day is at the Pro Shop where fans come to get geared up for the game. Fans actually have access to the store before the stadium is even open, so you can get your shopping done before kickoff. KC! After that, we took a little ride to the other side of Arrowhead to get a quick tour of the stadium. You guys, I think I started off with a really good stadium because this stadium holds the record for being the loudest stadium in the world. So I'm not gonna be the loudest one in the room today and that makes me really happy. They let me in here before all the other fans. So I just wanted to show you guys what a stadium looks like when no one's there. Should I scream something really quick? Do you think they'll kick me out? Let's go Stadium Eats! Look, the stadium is completely empty. There's some people in here. It's just a really cool one in a lifetime experience to be out here when no one else is. This is dope. Okay, so we have arrived to the Chiefs Hall of Honor. This is where you can get rich history about the team and everything. And what I love the most is that it's open to everybody. So while you're here to watch the game, you can come in and check it out. Everything's here and it's open to everybody. You don't need any VIP access, nothing. You can come and watch and learn and see. I think this ring might be more expensive than my entire life. How much do you think it's worth? 50 pounds, 50 pounds, 50 pounds. All right, you guys, so we're here with Mike Davidson. He is the curator and the historian at the Chiefs Hall of Honor. Some of the more popular things that they like to see would be... I was just about to say, of course, we have, right? We have two Super Bowl championships. <laughs> yes. The first one in, in uh, Super Bowl IV, okay. which is the one off to the left. Uh huh. Over here to your right is Super Bowl 54. We've had fans um, kissing the glass over here. <laughs> no, We've had lipstick marks on there. No. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's, wow. it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to see. Do you encourage that? <laughs> no, they do it on their own. Okay. <laughs> I want to show you something I bet you've never seen before. So over here, we have every game that we have played. Beginning wow. with the very first game played, and we can scroll through all the seasons. And we say, hey, look at this guy. What is he doing on the field? We tried to show him to it. Hey, man, the game's over. <laughs> Our very first food stop of the day was to Kingdom Classics to check out the stadium's impressive tech. Trust me, this technology is going to blow your mind. Okay, so we've all been there. We're watching the game. We get hungry or thirsty, and we run to the concession stand, and then we're greeted by this like huge line, and we're like, no, I want to watch the game. Well, this stadium has really eliminated that problem. If you guys come over here and look, and they have this new technology system where you grab the food, and you put it in here, and it scans it, and you're ready to go. You check out, which is insane. No more long lines. You grab, you go. So let's go over here. It's gonna be a heavy day, so let's go for a lighter beer. It's not a football game without a hot dog. It's not a football game without a pretzel. Hands are getting full, but you know what? It's fine. And some popcorn. You guys, look at this. It's scanning it. Popcorn. That's it. Now I can run back to the game. I'm not missing anything. I get my snacks and I go. Kansas City is one of the world's greatest barbecue meccas, so of course we had to visit the Mac Shack, where we will be trying the first iconic Chiefs game day meal. This is their Burnt Ends Mac and Cheese. We got it from the Mac Shack. And basically what burnt ends are, are the burnt ends of a brisket. So normally people throw those ends away, but in Kansas City, they take those ends and they zhuzh them up a little bit. You know, they don't want to waste any of that barbecue out here. So on top we have fried onion rings, we have the burnt ends, and then we have some really creamy mac and cheese. So we're already in heaven. The day hasn't even started and I have transported to heaven. I haven't even tried this yet and I know it's gonna be good. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the fried onion ring so we get a very complete full bite. Cheers. The mac and cheese is extremely creamy. 
So you have a lot of cheesy sauce around that and the noodle is cooked to perfection. It's not that hard, hard type of noodle, but it's cooked perfectly. And the actual brisket is so soft. It's not that hard brisket, y'all. Wait a minute. You all know Kansas City is known to have some of the best barbecue. I see why. This brisket legit just melted in my mouth. It's soft, it just breaks apart. Fun fact, back in LA, I used to waitress at a place called Jalapeno Pete's and it was a Chiefs fan bar. And they all brought in their own barbecue sauce. Like they, they don't just do any barbecue. They literally took their barbecue sauce from Kansas City all the way to Los Angeles because that's how they need to eat their barbecue. I just love the balance between the creamy mac and cheese, the very nice meat, and then the crispy onion rings on top. This is really good and I feel like this really is Kansas City in a dish. Next up is the stadium's famous pizza. Yes, I'll take the, the, the white pizza please. Thank you so much. So we went ahead and grabbed a pizza from John Doe Pizza Co. They give you three options. You could just do cheese, pepperoni, and you get a white sauce or a red sauce. They keep the selection simple because as we know, game day, you wanna get in and out. If you give people too many options, they'll be in line for forever, you know what I mean? So I went with the white sauce, which is a Parmesan cream sauce, and then on top is a mozzarella ricotta, and then I topped it off with balsamic vinaigrette to really zhuzh it up. Anyway, this pizza looks really good. It looks like a good quality pizza. Sometimes you're getting that like stadium pizza, but this looks like an elevated pizza. Mmm. Okay. Wow, that's really cheesy. What I like about the dough is it's really soft. But yeah, this pizza's great. It's light, it's nice. If you like cheese, this is definitely the pizza to get. Now we're off to try one of the stadium's iconic shareable options, nachos. You guys, the stadium is starting to fill up. I feel all the excitement. Fans are ready for this game to go, but I'm actually truly excited about these nachos because look at them. How crazy do these look? Oh my gosh, they spared no ingredient when it came to these nachos. And it would come to no surprise that these nachos are called over the top nachos because they're truly over the top. So we have Korean brisket on top, tomatoes, jalapenos, they have a jalapeno crema on top as well, and uh, some black beans and some cheese. So let's dive in and try them, shall we? A little bit of everything. You know when you start dancing and food just makes you happy? That's what's going on right now. Okay, here we go. That Korean bis brisket is so nice. It has a hint of spice to it, which if you're familiar with Korean barbecue, sometimes it does have that flair of spice, which is really, really nice. I'm not a fan of like extra, extra spicy, and it's just a mild form of spice. What I love the most about these nachos is every chip that you grab, they all have the ingredients. When you're watching a football game and you wanna eat a big pile of nachos, it doesn't seem like the best food item to pick because things can get messy, but the, the fact that they serve it in this pizza box I think is just super convenient. And just all I recommend is if you do eat this at the stadium, just grab lots of napkins because it's gonna be messy. The next place that we're gonna be visiting is The Coop. So the great thing about Arrowhead Stadium is they're really trying to make the process fast when you're getting your food so you could skip the line. So they created this mobile app where you just go on it and you order what you want. You come over here, you pick it up and it's fast and convenient so you don't miss the game. So there's six restaurants that you could order from. And what I'm gonna order right now are the chicken strips from The Coop because apparently they're bomb. So you just go right on here and I'm gonna order it really quick. So just add it and that's pretty much it. You just come right here and you pick it up fast, convenient, no lines. I love how massive the chicken tenders are. They really went all out and gave you that big slab of chicken and they dip the chicken in a tempura batter and then they top it off with Planko crust, which I think is great. You can tell that they're just crunchy and crispy and they're gonna be full of flavor. And they give you a big portion so you're getting your money's worth, which I appreciate. So let's go ahead and dip it in the barbecue sauce. These chicken strips are crunchy, which I love. It has that nice texture that you're looking for with a chicken tender, and then inside, the chicken is super tender. I love that they dip it in the tempura batter first, and then the panko crumbs. Then it just makes this really crunchy, nice chicken tender. Hopefully, I'm gonna eat closer to my mic so you can hear the crunch. Wow, that's great. I love that so much. And then some good old curly fries, y'all. There's nothing bad to say. Chicken strips are one of those standard food items that you want at a stadium. And the fact that they're battering them here at the coop, fresh, 
not frozen at the coop, I love. All right, you guys, I am here with Erin Wachon, who is the executive chef here at Arrowhead Stadium. She is the woman that you want to know. She feeds the players and she feeds us the fans, which I appreciate. Okay, that is a daunting task, okay? Executive chef to not only the stadium, but also the team. So let's start off with the team. How many meals do you prepare for them a day leading up to the game? During the week, we feed them like anywhere from six to seven days a week, depending on if it's a home game or not. So at a home game, it's seven days. Oh, the whole um, week? Yeah, Leading the up week, to the yeah. game? Wow. Yeah. So we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. And what do those meals look like? Uh, we provide a lot of variety. Some people are very specific on what they want, and you know, we need things really clean. Other people, mm. you know, may like a little sugar or like, you know, so we try to kind of have a, a large variety. What is the craziest thing you've had to tailor for a player? You don't have to tell me which player, <laughs> but the craziest order that you've gotten. The craziest order? Um, I don't, I don't even know. I'm trying to think. It's really... She doesn't want to call anybody <laughs> out is what's happening. She's like, I see what you're doing. You want me to tell you what player orders what, but she's like, my lips are sealed. What is your favorite food item here at the stadium? And my favorite food is, I think, everyone's favorite food here, which is the barbecue mac and cheese. You know, I just <laughs> had that. We want to have something that's definitely reflects upon the city and it's great for football, so it's hearty. Mm -hmm. You know, the majority of our games aren't this beautiful out. They're usually very cold, mm -hmm. so it's really warming and just comforting. I think it's just honestly crazy. Um, I guess for me, I never even assumed that there was a chef assigned to the team. I mean, listen, it's in your hands, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is a huge responsibility to feed an entire team to make sure that they are ready to go on that field. So, <laughs> you're amazing. Bow down to you. Um, thank you so much thank for you. chatting with us. And thank you so much for feeding the players and keeping them strong. The moment I have been waiting for, we are headed back outside to check out the tailgating scene. I'm ready to see what the best tailgate in the NFL looks like. Let's go. Who just got married? Congratulations. <laughs> I love it with the top hat and everything. Oh, look at that. Those are true fans right there. All right, you guys, I just ran into Jessica. She's a huge Chiefs fan, and she also watches Delish, and she's here at the tailgating experience, and she's having fun. Woo! You come to the Chiefs games often? Yeah, we're season ticket holders. Okay, great. Yeah. So you come to the tailgating beforehand? Yes. Okay. Always. You have to get here early because all the spots get up really quick. You, right. you got to set up your grill, you got to get all your food, okay. of course all the drinks too. If you could put in one word the experience of the tailgating experience here, what would that word be? Kingdom. <laughs> she said kingdom. Okay, so we're here with Brian, a huge Chiefs fan and a huge tailgating fan too. He goes all out. He brought his own entire smoker here today. Do you do this every game? Yeah, every game. <laughs> He's just like, yep. It's nothing, no big deal, no Sometimes, big deal. Uh, whole animals. Whole animals, you yeah. bring the whole animals with you. In one word, how would you describe the atmosphere here in the parking lot before the game? Uh, all inclusive. I all mean, inclusive. I, I love feeding anyone that, anyone that walks up, I will feed. Okay, Brian, if I had to try one thing, what should I try? Uh, probably a, at least a bite of the pork loin and a bite of the uh, smoked pineapple. You guys are so nice, thank you so much. Come on. Brian, that's good. Worth each bite, huh? The meat is so tender. Oh, thank you. It's, it's beautiful. The Chiefs has been known for the best tailgate in the NFL. Would you agree? Yes. Okay. What course, makes it so special? Only, it's the only stadium I've ever been to. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even think you based that on, but sure, I'll agree with that. Go Chiefs. Go Chiefs! The stadium itself also runs their own tailgating experience called the Ford Tailgate District. Let's go check it out. Jake from State Farm here at the stadium. Jake, what do you think about the atmosphere at the Chiefs Stadium? It's all love. It's the Midwest, it's home, it feels like family. I'm over the moon right now. What is your favorite thing to eat at a stadium when you're watching football? Favorite oh, thing to eat? Ribs. I love ribs. I, I, I'm a ribs burger, Listen. hot dog guy. I'm addicted to hot dogs, I'll be honest. You have to try their burnt yet. ends mac and cheese. Have you tried it here no, today? What? Eat it today. Burnt. You'll thank me later. So nice to meet you. Well, Jake thank you. from State Farm. Stop, stop, stop. It's stop, Jake from stop. State Farm. <laughs> it's game time, baby. Let's go inside the stadium.
game started, we headed to the upper levels to check out the suites. Okay, you guys, so we're in the press room. Literally the quiet place in this whole entire stadium. I thought it was really cool to come here and check it out. It gets so cool, so this is where all the news stations and reporters come to view the game. Technically impressed. Check their credentials. Really on the field. Buff, covered by the receiving team, first down. All right, you guys, now we are at the suite level. So if you want an elevated experience at the stadium, this is where you need to go. I feel a little fancy, I'm not gonna lie. I still don't know how I got the invite to be here, but I'm not asking any questions. I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna eat like a VIP today. How's the game going so far? Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, bring this guy, come on. Touchdown happens, what's your, what's your victory dance? You really wanna know? Yes. Show it. Oh, oh, oh. I love it, high five, enjoy the game. Thank you so much. This is beautiful, beautiful. And I, I will say, this is like the most quiet place in this entire stadium, which is insane. So many rooms for activities, woo, go cheese! This is just kind of the open space right here. You can order a cocktail over here, victory burger over here, and then over here, we have the chairman club. In order to get a suite, you have to buy out a suite for 20 people or more. But the cool thing about the chairman club is that you could just buy one or two tickets and then you have access to the suite level. So if you don't want to get a whole suite by yourself, you could just get one or two tickets at the chairman club and still get that executive elevated experience. So let's go check it out. Fancy. Got shrimp cocktail. The luxury of it all. The luxury. So nice. As you can see, you have a really great view of the game. Hi, how's it going? Got a whole beef tenderloin, just a whole beef tenderloin. This looks amazing. All right, you guys, so I have gathered all of the food from the Chairman Club suite, and now it's time to eat. I have worked up an appetite. I was in the stands screaming. I was dancing with the fans, and now it's time to grub, which I'm really excited about. First things first, I really wanted to highlight this hot dog, because what I think that Arrowhead Stadium does really well is that they have a dish at every single game that pays homage to the opposing team. So today, the Chiefs are playing the Green Bay Packers. They're from Wisconsin, so we've got this Wisconsin hot dog right here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. That was a big bite. I think there's cheddar inside the hot dog. No, there's cheddar inside the hot dog, y'all. I was expecting to take a bite of the hot dog and just, you know, taste sausage, but cheddar kind of exploded outside of the sausage, which is amazing, and it's so buttery. That is fantastic. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and try their beef tenderloins and their baby carrots. Go ahead and cut into that. Look at that. Just cuts in it so nicely. Mm hmm I mean, nothing nugget to say. Beef tenderloin, it's nice. It's delicious, has a lot of flavor, love it. I think it's almost sacrilegious to eat a carrot at a football game, but you have the option. That's a good carrot, not too shabby. All right, next up we have some shrimp scampi skewers. Again, this is fancy food. I don't know how many times I need to say it. When I go to a football game, I want that hot dog and I want that nacho, but I do think it's nice, again, if you wanna have a fancy meal, you have that option, okay? So let's go ahead and dive on in. I take it back. This is nice. Especially if you started off the game with that hot dog or that nacho, but you're still hungry and you want something light, this is a good alternative. Then we have some potatoes here. Mm, delicious. This is what I'm talking about. This is their hot chicken slider with homemade pickles on top. I want fried food. I want pizza. I want pretzels, I want mac and cheese when I come to the game. So this is more my speed, and look at that. It's nice and petite. It's an elevated Chick-fil-A sandwich, if you will, but fancy, because again, we're in the VIP suites. Ooh. Oh, the hot is hot now, right? It's kicking in. So it is definitely a hot chicken sandwich. It has a hint of spice, but it's really good. I love fried food, I love chicken. This is a good little bite-sized sandwich that you could have during the game, which I like. And also, if you want to walk around and eat, it's one of those travel foods that you can just walk around, come around the stadium, and it's not too messy. Before I dive in, I'm gonna wash off all that food with my nice Kansas City Chief merchandise mason jar cocktail here. Very festive. What I'm most excited for is this decadent chocolate cake. Do y'all see how thick that is? The fact that I can get a big piece of chocolate cake right here 
is everything that I could have asked for. Y'all know I love chocolate. I die for chocolate. It's the best. And this looks decadent. It looks rich. And I'm going to eat this whole thing on my own. It's so beautiful. Look at that weight. Look at it on the inside. Do you see that? Oh. oh, oh. Wow. That's how I feel. You see how he just yelled and he was excited about the game? That's how I feel about this cake. It's truly a touchdown, this cake right here. It's beautiful. Can I be rich already so I can come to the games and eat chocolate cake that's as decadent as this? They also gave us these little mousse shooters. The last thing I'm trying today is their caramel mousse shooter. I love that they put them in these small cups. You want something small, you're on the fly, you're on the go, and it's bite size, which I appreciate, and it looks incredible. Mmm, wow. The caramel's really coming through. It's smooth and silky. That is incredible. You finish it in three bites and you're good to go. I don't know how I managed to make it to halftime without having a single sip of beer. So I'm going to head back to the main level, grab a beer, grab my seat, and enjoy the rest of this game. Cheers! My first beer of the day, y'all. I need this, I need this. Is it football without a beer? No. That's a wrap. The game is over, and what an adventure that was. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the entire experience. I have never been to a game like that before. The crowd was loud, the fans were incredible. And I want to give a huge shout out to the entire team right here at GEHA Field at Airhead Stadium for really taking care of us and giving me the grand tour. I have to say my favorite thing that I tried today was that mac and cheese with that brisket, y'all. It was delicious. So if you visit the stadium, I definitely say that is a must order. Let us know what you want to see next. All right, that's it. Stadium Eats, that's a wrap. See you next time.